conquers. A game of skill and precision. Two players, each with a conquer threaded on a piece of string, take it in turns to hit each other's conquer. One player lets the conquer dangle on the full length of the string, while the other player draws back their conquer and fires. If a player misses their opponent's conquer, they are allowed up to two further attempts. The point of the game? To obliterate your opponent's conquer. sir. How's everything looking today? Yes. Very good, sir. I'm only joking. So, young man, anything to report? No, sir. No truanting students? There were a couple of boys wandering the hallways. I sent them to the lessons. Mm -hmm. Glad to hear it. We don't want to be turning a blind eye to that sort of thing, do we, Jack? Very good, sir. The Golden Conkers. I see you're eyeing up your trophy. It's not my trophy yet, sir. Mm, sounds like a foregone conclusion to me. You won it for the last six years. If you win it in your seventh and final year, it's yours to keep. I actually competed for that trophy myself when I was a lad. Did you ever get your hands on the Golden Conkers, sir? Unfortunately, no. Not. But I sure would have liked to have done. I'd have given my right eye for that sort of thing. It's someone called Jack about a conquer tournament. Oh, you mean one-eyed Jack? He's over there. Good luck getting anything out of him, though. He's not exactly the chatty type. How did he lose his eye? Lost it in a conquer match. Ah! 
That would make a great story. Conquer match ends in tragedy. No. Conquer hopeful gets an eyeful. When did it happen? A couple of years ago. Oh. Odd news then. Shame I could have used a juicy angle to make the story a little more interesting. Well, if one eye wins tomorrow, they'll be the first player ever to win seven successive titles. That means he gets to keep the Golden Conquers trophy. Trophy in sight for one eye Conquer champ. Well, it's not going to win me the Pulitzer, but I guess I have to do. One eye Jack, how are your preparations going for this year's contest? Why does he wear a face mask? Not allergy. concerns of parents and students about the service in the school canteen. Yes, and I'm having a meeting with the canteen manager next week to see if any improvements can be made. Today, you're the head teacher of the school. You should be demanding improvements immediately. Clearly, I wrongly assumed you have some level of influence in the school. Luckily, I'll be speaking to the canteen manager this afternoon, and I can finally speak to the organ rider and not the monkey. Remember who you're speaking to, young lady. I forbid you from speaking to the canteen manager and I do not want this appearing in the school newspaper. Is that clear? I don't want to hear any more about this, Josie. Any more at all. What about the freedom of the press? I didn't realise we were living in a non-democratic state. I will not be censored! Yes, what do you want? I've got a story for you. Yes, I'm listening. It's about the Conquer tournament. Conquer's yes, I'm covering it. One Eye Jack claims seventh title, blah, blah. What if I were to tell you that One Eye Jack was going to lose the Conquer tournament tomorrow? Well, that means you know something that I don't. And I find that difficult to believe. Well, not only is he going to lose his precious seventh title and the chance to keep the Golden Conquer's trophy, but he's also going to suffer the embarrassment of losing to the worst player in school. How do you know this? Because I'm going to make it happen, but I need your help. Why would I help you? Six-time Conquer champion, astonishing defeat, underdog claims Conquer title. I'll do the headlines, thank you. Well, I just couldn't help but over here. Kinda sounds like you need a new top story. William, right? How are things? Oh, hi. Well, I think it's been a bit of a mix-up, to be honest. I mean, I asked for gravy on my chips and chocolate custard on my dessert, but it looks like I've got chocolate custard on my chips and gravy on the sponge. Tastes surprisingly all right. Well, you're going to need all the energy you can get for tomorrow's conquer tournament. Oh, yeah, that. I'm going to give it a miss, actually. You can't do that. What's the point? Everyone knows that I'm the worst player in school. Anyway, I'm in the school production and it's the dress rehearsal tomorrow at the same time. No, William, you have to compete. With my help, I believe you can win the title. Are you mad? I won't make it past the first round, never mind beat One-Eyed Jack. One-Eyed Jack can be beaten. You just need the right conquer. And William, I think I've found it. This time tomorrow, you will have the golden conquers in your hands. Oh, all right then. People. I'm a cowboy. We're doing Oklahoma. This is the kid. Do you always just appear from nowhere? Uh, one sec. I just gotta get changed. No, we haven't got time. Have you got the key? Did the caretaker just give you the key? Yeah. He knows I need to access the archives when I'm fact checking an article. And having a nice smile doesn't hurt either. I thought we were going to win the trophy fairly, not just steal it. We're not going to steal it, exactly. 
The only way to beat One Eye is if your conqueror is completely unbeatable. One thing that all good conquer players should know is the older the conqueror is, the stronger it is. And if it's been stored in a cool, dry place, it'll be rock hard. This is over 60 years old. The Golden Conquerors were the first conquerors to drop from the Skull's horse chestnut tree. They were then gilded and mounted on an oak wood shield to form the famous Golden Conquerors Trophy. This will be a formidable conquer. OK, we need to return the trophy before someone comes and collects it. He hasn't even hit a conch yet. The only reason he's got this far is because everyone else is obliterates when the strike hears. And one eyes conch will suffer the same fate. <sighs> How can one eyes conch even compete with Williams? It's over a hundred years old, solid as a rock. What? That's why he wins every year. His granddad gave it to him. It's completely indestructible. We've been trying to change the rules so that every player gets a fresh conquer, but one eye won't have it. But that's not fair. Why don't you say something? Quite frankly, no one's got the conquest to say anything. It can be a little unpredictable at times. Just ask him. What does he mean? <laughs> Where are you going? What the hell? Are you crazy? One way or another, I'll get my revenge. I've waited too long. Seriously, what did one I do to you? Tell me. It was the first day of school in year seven. I was scared. The school seemed huge. I was told that if I needed any help or got lost, I just needed to ask a teacher or an older student. That's all I did.
decided from that day on I would get my revenge. Luckily, I have a plan B. Is that a water gun? Yes, and I will drench him just like he did to me. This could still work. If William can just hit one ice conquer, he just might have a chance. I'm so sorry about what happened to you, but you have to move on. I thought you only cared about the story. Maybe when this is over. Dude, you're like half my size. Come on, let's get back in there. What's happening? He's getting murdered. <gasps> What's happened? One eye's cracked William's conquer. What does that mean? One more hit from one eye and he's a goner. He needs to turn the conquer round. If he hits it with the cracked side, then he's going to smash his own conquer. 